Welcome to this third part of the AI Ruva series. Um, now we have established a wireless connection with the access pop-up. Um, you can alternatively use the Ethernet cable, but it's more convenient to use the Wi-Fi. And when you uh, when you boot up the robot, it will automatically create an access point, so it's very easy to connect. Yes, and after connecting, you have here the web UI, uh, when you enter the IP address given in the tutorials, then you can directly see this web UI where you can see the image of the camera, of the normal camera, and you can also use like here the pan and tilt functions directly, and you can also move uh, the robot uh, like you've seen before. What else you can do here? On the right side there are the different um, functions for example you can turn on and off the lights uh, from the camera a pan tilt camera and the uh, two leds in front separately and you can also choose the ai functions like you can see here it's a face recognition and you can also use more advanced stuff like uh, pose estimation and uh, object detection like you can see here the standard model does not work perfect, but in the future we will change the models so we can get uh, better recognitions. And you can see on top uh, the CPU usage. It goes up uh, from 20% without any AI functions and when you use the AI uh, you will go up to 60 or 70% sometimes. So even the Jetson uh, Orin Nano is used quite heavily. Then you can jump into the Jupyter Lab, uh, Jupyter Notebook, mm, with one click and there you can uh, enter the uh, tutorials or you can also create new Jupyter Notebooks like you can see here with the stuff you want to make. And um, for this example be careful when you copy things uh, or codes from the uh, Waveshare website because they may not match directly to your version, so you have to change uh, the name of the controller in, uh, in the top cell. So, like you can see here, I just made an example with, uh, with the LEDs uh, turned on and off. And here you can also, or in this example, I, I made uh, dim LEDs, so it's not so bright. And you can also do that. But these are only the basic functions you can uh, see here. And on the left side, when you enter the Tutorials English folder, you will see many, many tutorials that are uh, well commented. So it's very good service from Waveshare um, so that you can directly use them and adjust to your personal needs. So this are, these are the basic functions. Now we come to ROS2. The ROS2 uh, Docker file is already pre-installed when you ordered this the version here I, I ordered from Waveshare, this is, which is uh, pre-assembled. So it's very easy to just start the Docker uh, file. But for that you have first have to go into the terminal in Jupyter Notebook. And in the terminal you can uh, you have to uh, use the top, uh, uh, top command to see the PID of the Python process. And when you read the PID, which is four digits here uh, in my example, you have to kill this process, like you can see here. And when you kill the process, the normal web UI will not be available anymore because they cannot work in parallel. So this will, uh, yeah, don't be afraid when it's closing down. And now you can start, uh, like you see here, the Docker file. And when the Docker file is started, uh, you have to download from the website or go directly to this um, Mobi Xterm um, stuff. This is a small application. It's a portable application, so you don't need to install. You, it's just sitting in in a folder. And this small application establishes a SSH connection to the device. Um, I have here two, like you can see uh, on the left side, uh, one IP is the LAN with the cable and the second one is the Wi-Fi. And you have to log in with the root and 
I think it's uh, yeah you uh, you can see on the on the website uh, what's your login stuff and when you are in the docker file you have to go cd into the ugv ws uh, folder and there in the first terminal you have to uh, uh, start the driver which is which has to stay uh, open so don't close the first terminal but also open a uh, second terminal log in again and uh, go again into the same folder and there you have to yeah and there you launch uh, the ros2 environment in parallel because this one needs the first terminal yeah staying open so and then you have the ros2 uh, UI which is opening in the background and this is uh, a separate window where you can see uh, in my version here the three-dimensional drawing of the device of the robot and what else you can do with the ROS2 we will see you in the next video goodbye